What are you doing? Let me show you how it's really done. That must be the only thing you can attack me with. Tuner's the only thing I can use here. Because bone clubs are coming. Power trick. Never mind. Well, that's gonna hit for super effective damage. Great, Weezing can kill my entire team. What's this thing's claim? Do I have any rock attacks? No, but Giovanni can go out, tell Glow, and fire dance. Never mind. Play face, get back in there. <sighs> okay, Brave Bird must be the only thing this thing has. not what I meant, but sure, let's go with that. Note how Piggly's not gotten any use here on Victor Road, because everything that I would want to switch him into has a ground-type attack. That will wreck his face. And I don't exactly want that, so... <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, hey! Dreadagon's actually supposed to be here. At least here in the cave. Let's put it that way. Uh... 
All right, Sparky. Goodbye. And the game is making the point to let me know that I've got a major fucking weakness. Interesting. Oh, of course! Should I have expected anything less? Motherfucker. You know, it always strikes me as really fucking creepy that male Pokemon get milk drink. It's like, where's the milk coming from? Probably best not to think about it. Again. Because of course I do. It was nice knowing you, plate face. I can't risk it. Faces at target. Hmm. One claim to fame my frostless has, and she can't even use it. Okay, everything with the serial attacks can uh, just fuck off and die in a fire. So I just got to thinking, I totally should have strength right now. The HM's in Nimbasa City. I'm fucking retarded. 
and the stuff that is post-game only is blocked off with fucking pylons. Like the dark grass in the dream yard. Why do I keep forgetting about that? Okay, four must be the magic number today. Yeah, but it makes nice shortcuts here in uh, Victory Road. Something tells me Victory Road is going to be a bad place to grind. Because everything I've found here has been a basic Pokemon. Everything! This isn't funny, game. In fact, it's borderline mean. trying to tell me, game. That's what I was getting at. Yep. Uh, you talking about where my fucking switch was giving me the same IP address as our fucking wireless router? Yeah, that was fixed, like, a month ago. That's why I'm able to upload my full fucking session onto YouTube in, like, three hours of finishing the session as opposed to having to wait three days for my fucking bandwidth to come back up. Oh, that's cute, Zangoose. You're raising your attack by two? I'm raising my special attack by three. And you're gonna die. Ha! <laughs> Holy shit! 60 fucking damage. Still not gonna survive my, uh... Quest 3 Aura Sphere. Dick. Oval stone, yeah, I'll make sure to use that on the happy knee I'm never gonna find. I do need 
some strength here. Convenient that. Alright, let's go get HM4 real quick. Because I'm gonna need it. in this house? Yes it is. Now who do I want to waste the move slot on? Face isn't a very good attacker anyway, so... Nope. It's actually gonna make... for a slightly better attacker. Poison Tail sucked anyway. Actually, I just remembered I could fly to Victory Road. Power band. Well, I've got items to find, so. And there's a couple more trainers to fight. Brelum! Could be better, but. This point is the best experience source in the fucking cave. That does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And I get the special attack raise when it doesn't matter anymore. That's always a thing. Hmm. Just like last time, this room is a semi decent fucking grind point. Pedro, you give me no choice. You won't survive this fiery dance. In fact, we only have 
that one trainer left that I'm aware of. And it's not going to be that big of a deal if we don't hear the normal fucking trainer music. And Necron's theme is way too fitting with as badly as I'm getting my shit stomped by everything in here. Oh hey, another experience share. Rotom! It's a shame that I know Rotom's not worth anything for experience. Thanks. Fucking growth. Yeah, but it's the theme behind him. You know, being the avatar of death and everything. You know, returning the world to a zero state. It's more the concept than the uh, actual merit of the boss. Oh look! Jeffrey's all grown up now! See how he likes a power 260? Yeah, he didn't. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about the character of X Death. Didn't play very far into five. I got to the point where Krill took over for Galuf, and I'm like, that completely just destroys the setup I had because it doesn't make sense that a fucking seven year old girl is wielding a sword three times her size. Because I had Galuf set up as my knight. And I had already invested, like, all that fucking time into it. Wow! Kinda wish I could rematch this guy. Even though Hunter is fucking obnoxious, that Audino is beautiful! <laughs> I get it, 85% accuracy, but this is ridiculous, Giovanni! Dropping the ball! Wow. Giovanni knows who the enemy is. It's a shame Plateface doesn't. So like, I don't know what to do, I'm gonna smack myself in the face! Wow, really? Becoming rock type. Not doing yourself any favors there, uh, Lardo. Oh, hi, Kingdra! We were just talking about you. Don't have a water type attack. That's just as bad. Skill swap. I can see this ending badly. Why take my ability and then give it back, asshole? Did 
Do you not want my good ability? Douche. Verizion again. Hmm. Oh no! Giovanni's done. I'm really not feeling the uh, usefulness of cotton seed right now. I'm really not. guess on that is as good as mine. The game fucking hates me. Cherry! Oh, Cherubi. Cherim would have been good. Because, you know, evolved, worth some experience. Oh, Vanillix! Nice. Cascoon, really? Wow! Great! 